It's not going to be about the fact that you've got huge crowds and huge reactions from everything you say, gets huge shares and likes and comments. It's going to be far more targeted. Who are your people? What do they want? Are you looking after them? And that will be the growth of the micro-influencer. Now the good thing is that if you haven't got a big crowd following you, don't bother chasing them. Chase the ones who want something from you directly. And if you haven't worked out who they are, that's the first thing you've got to be able to do. Now the big fear about public speaking is the fact that whether it's online and doing videos or whether it's in front of a live audience, people are worried about what if things go wrong. And that makes you freeze. That makes you worried about the fact that people are going to say stuff about you. How many people feel that's true as well? One person, I know there's more than that, everyone's going, oh, who's going to pick on us? But if you don't get noticed, you won't be able to get that business. Now let me tell you one of the things that's really scary, and it's a big tsunami that's on the way. Now everybody knows what tsunami is, it's when that big wall of water wipes everything out. Right now we have an opportunity, as across all the social media, LinkedIn especially, not so much during the other ones because so many people are active on that and being really effective. But this tsunami is literally all the brands that currently advertise on boring TV and boring radio and boring magazines and boring newspapers are still spending their money there. At some point they'll change. And what we decide to do is start looking at social media in a really serious way. 